Welcome back to Big Jimmy. You can call me DJ and hello to the bushel of bad apples. Want to join the bushel? Hit the subscribe button down below to join this fabulously flawed family. And today, welcome back to Frugal Friday. This is the long overdue League of Midnight review. Now, something to note, the League of Midnight does have a piggly wiggly tail cap and a closed foot. So when you light it, keep that in mind. Now, if you didn't know, the League of Midnight is a budget cigar from Zeal Cigars. Um, and if you can't tell, Lovely. It was designed to rival the likes of the Liga Pravada series by Drew Estate. Back when Bradley talked about this, the video I saw about it anyway, uh, he mentioned, you know, am I saying it's as good as the Liga Pravada? No, but I'm saying it's so good that the Liga Pravada isn't ten dollars, isn't worth paying an extra ten dollars. Uh, this is a very, very good cigar. Loads of flavors at right off. I love the puff that you get with the closed foot or the semi-closed foot. It wasn't completely closed, but I love the closed foot. The flavors so far are very solid. You get a nice chocolate note to it. You get really nice, uh, I hate the word knife, I gotta stop saying it, I gotta stop saying it. Very pleasant, very enjoyable, very robust uh, flavors on this cigar. Add light up, salty, meaty, earthy, a little bit of sweetie. Quite delicious, quite delicious in fact. I think it's better than the Liga Pravada cigar. The number nine is what I believe it is competing with specifically. You know, I, I have a number nine at home and the goal was to smoke both of them in studio and kind of see how they compare to like a blind comparison test. But I don't think that's really, voice crack, I don't think that's really the point. Like it obviously is the point, but more important than that, that this cigar, as cheap as it is, as frugal Friday priced as it is, everything you want in a Liga Pravada, uh, all the flavors that you want to find in a Liga. However, much cheaper. It's a slight hint in the tobacco taste that doesn't have that quite like, I don't want to say aged because I don't know if Liga Provadas are aged, but I'm assuming they are. That quite like refined tobacco note, that's missing from this cigar. But other than that, it's saturated with flavors, very saturated with flavors. Uh, there's pepper to it, there's salt to it, there's meaty notes to it, leathery notes to it. There's a little bit of cocoa sweetness to it. It's very delicious. I enjoy it a lot. So far, it's fantastic. We're gonna puff on it down and I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. All right, we are here now and I'm driving, so I'm not looking, but I'm pretty sure you guys should be able to see that. Uh, stacking so many doinks on this cigar right here. I'm smoking it a little fast, so it got a little acrid, but that's not the cigar's fault, that's my fault. I'm like a hawk, just looking for these school buses. Uh, one was stopped, I, I, I saw one coming my way across the meridian on the other side of the road. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh, that one's gonna stop, Ooh, that one's gonna stop, and someone's riding my butt. And sure enough, they stop, so I stop. And I don't know at this current point in time when I stopped if I needed to stop because there was a meridian, there was a divider in between both sides of the road and it was going on the opposite direction. And I'm like, in my gut, I go, I'm gonna stop. And if someone honks, fine. But I'm not going until that stop sign is down. And then I'm at a stoplight. So I'm at a stoplight and I yell at Siri with the Bluetooth and uh, I ask, I'm like, hey, if a school bus is on the opposite side of the road and there's a divider and it has a sign up, do I need to stop? And sure enough, Texas law says if a school bus is coming from the opposite side of you and there's a divider in the road, you still have to stop. Cigar is good. I like my job. I'm very blessed to have a job right now because I know there are many, many, many people freaking out unemployed at the moment. So I'm not upset. Just a little surprised. Now, back to the cigar. 
So, oh, 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 so I got a mic. I hope you guys are enjoying the quality of the mic. It's been charged, so I'm actually going to use it for this review. Also, 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 uh, I got a little lapel mic attached to it as well. I don't know if you can see it in the shot or not, but it's right there. Um, the cigar is performing still very, very, very well. I like it. I enjoy it. Is it a Liga Pravada replacement? I think so. It's supposed to be compared to the Liga 9. I'm having at least as good of flavors as the current Liga 9 has. I know people have said it's, it's maybe dropped off a little bit in the past couple of years. From the times that I've smoked a Liga 9, this Liga Midnight right here is tasting at least as good. I think the big thing you're missing is, like I said, the quality of the tobacco doesn't taste nearly as um, refined. We'll say refined. Not bad. It just doesn't have that 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 flavor that you know you, you come to recognize. And then the cigar is not as densely packed, so it is burning quick. Uh, this isn't going to be an hour-long smoke. Maybe if you smoke nice and really slow and you're really conscious of it, but it's probably still going to get a nice 45 out of a Toro. But uh, I've mentioned that many times in, in videos. A big thing you're going to get is is time on stick. It's going to last longer. Now, I'm in a car that's 102 degrees. I'm not hating the fact that this cigar is not burning super duper slow. Um, I'm not minding that too much at all, in fact, because I know it'll at least be done and I'll get to finish this review by the time I get home. So it works out really, really well for me. If you wanted to like really relax while smoking this cigar, puff on a little slower and it'll last you quite a long time. Solid smoke is the point. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, Liga Midnight, my Zeal Cigars, is fantastic. The flavors have not died down at all. They haven't really changed. They're still super saturated. They're still super delicious. Just uh, earth, spice, a little bit of leathery, meaty notes to it, and a touch of cocoa on the finish. Fantastic overall. I'll get back with you guys in just a little bit. Hope you all are doing well. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. If you got to work this weekend, I'm sorry. I hope um, it's an easy day for you working this weekend. For all of us who have made it to the freaking weekend, welcome. And we are once again stacking dimes on this little budget guy right here. Uh, not a lot of changes. It's, it's diminuendoing a little bit as far as the uh, saturation of all the enjoyment. We're kind of down to just less of a saturated cigar. But definitely smoke it again. I would definitely gift it to a friend who was uh, looking for maybe some, a, different, a cheaper option but liked the Liga 9. Zeal Cigar, Liga Midnight. It's going in the mobile ashtray. And uh, I'm saying good night to it. I'm digging it a lot. I really enjoy the flavor profile of it. Um, not enjoying the like, I don't want to nub it. I, I don't like nubbing my cigars. Most cigars don't get nubbed. That's just a fact. I'd say 90 to 95% of the cigars that I smoke do not get nubbed. Um, when I want to be done, I'm done. And I'm done with that cigar. I want to finish it where it's really great still i'm still getting a lot of the good flavors I'm, I'm tasting them starting to die down i don't want to get to the point where i'm just smoking like not enjoyable cigar who would want that right so anyway great cigar for what it is i don't know the cost uh but uh, i know spice cream was like six seven bucks i don't know if they've had to increase their prices but definitely a frugal friday cigar um a contender a contender for sure um for best budget cigar of the year. It's gotta fight that uh that Perdomo sun grown though. And that's 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 the champ right now that I can remember, man. A <whistles> lot of good Frugal Friday cigars, and I'm gonna keep pumping them out. Hope you guys continue to enjoy the Frugal Friday series. Um, if y'all don't, let me know and I will stop doing it for a while. But um, I'm feeling especially in this economy, it's a good time to check out and, and try some more frugal options. We don't burn Benji's here. I ain't no CAO bowler, okay? I don't, the only thing I ball is melons. Big, beautiful melons. Ugh. Miss those melons. So anyway, 
Hope you all liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Share it if you will. And enjoy some more Frugal Fridays. Check them out. There's a playlist on the channel if you are. If you're looking for budget cigar options, I believe I have a playlist of all the best budget cigars. And if I remember to, I add the cigars to it. I gotta be better at that. But anyway, I just appreciate y'all greatly. Please like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. And as always, thank you so much for watching. DJ, you can call me DJ, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.